Okay, so today we will continue our discussion and uh, we will study one type of set that is called empty set. So tell me, what is an empty set? Okay, so a set having no elements is called an empty set. Proper subset and super set. Proper subset and super set. Someone means definition. No. Okay. So, uh, in tabular method, how do you represent a empty set? How do you represent an empty set? Hindi. Tabular method, I am saying. So let's suppose uh, generally phi is denoted as the empty set. Phi is equal to, we we'll write down empty. In the calibration, there will be no nothing. This is called an empty set. Okay. So in set builder method, how do you represent an empty set? Set of all x's so that x not equal to x. This is then empty set. First one is the tabular method. Second one is the set builder. Okay. Any other example that you know? Yes, any, any other example? Okay, so let's suppose uh, A is a set. Set up all x's such that x belongs to natural number Hello? and x square is equal to minus 1. Is it an empty set? Yes or no? x is a natural number. Which natural number if you take the square then you will get minus 1. Is there any natural number? No. Okay. So that is why it is an empty set. It is an empty set. So A is equal to blank because there is no such natural number when you take the square of that natural number you get minus one so it's a concept of complex number okay so this is one example that i have taken of an empty set okay so you can write it down at the bottom one notice empty set is a subset of every set Empty set is a subset of every set. Okay? That I told you earlier in the classes. Next one is singleton set. Tell me. A set having only one element is called a singleton set. Example, let's suppose I have this one. This element have a, sorry, this set A having only one element that is small A. This is a singleton set. Okay. So this cardinality of A is how much? One. In the previous case, the cardinality of phi is how much? Zero. The cardinality means number of elements in the set. Okay, so take one homework. You have to find, uh, give example, give examples of singleton set. Hello? You have to give an example in the set builder method, not in the tabular method. Hello? What example I am just giving one example. Let's suppose uh, P is the set of prime minister. Hello? Set of all access that, that X is a PM of India. You can take any kind of example. Set of all access such that X is a PM of India. A set how many elements will be there? Only one element because India have only one prime minister, not multiple prime minister. 
okay similarly you give how many four examples similar type of example you write it down and come to the next class in set builder method not the tabular method okay universal set you know about universal set let's suppose we want to consider some elements okay if you consider all the elements then a set that actually uh, contain whatever we consider those elements that is called as the universal set for example i may take set of natural number n set of natural number numbers n as universal set okay so i can just in the venn diagram i can just write it down like this this n is a set of natural number okay within that we have e set of even natural numbers huh? and how can i put it how to hella o set of odd natural numbers hella dekho mu edi in this particular venn diagram uh eta e achi hella except even natural numbers rest are what odd numbers are there सेते पे बटा को सर्कल कोरिन बिकॉज बाकी जते एरिया अछि दैट इज द ऑड नंबर्स ओके सो दैट्स आई हैव टेकन आई दिस और यू मे जस्ट गिव अनदर यूनिवर्सल सेट लेट्स सपोज आर इज द यूनिवर्सल सेट लाइक दिस आर इज द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स से केस रे में कोन कोली हिंदी कोली ई सॉरी रियल नंबर्स रे कोन कोन आसे नेचुरल नंबर आसे देन rational number is so i have taken like this hello so it is the one thing i haven't done here some natural number are also rational number hello so there may be mdb hi par overlap hi par hoga ki nahi like this because some natural number are rational number. any natural number rational number you know any number which can be shown in the form of p by q where q not equal to c that's called the rational number okay so this is this is the universal set now come to the different set operations the first one is union okay you know about this next intersection difference complement symmetric difference okay bana chhe ne okay so the other uh, five different set operations first one is union second is intersection third is difference complement and symmetric difference so come to one by one first one union how it is uh, symbolically how it is represented u like this hello so let's suppose a is a set and b is another set so it can be defined as set of all x's such that x belongs to a or if i don't or here x belongs to b this call as the union okay how do you represent in venn diagram this is a set a okay and this is a set b so which one is the union union is this set at reason everything okay so this is the union of a and b a union b can also be written as set of all x s such that x belongs to a or disjunction conjunction what is it so or you will just this symbol can be also represented as this or x belongs to b okay so let's suppose e is the set of even natural number natural numbers and o is the set of odd 
natural sorry, odd natural numbers then e union o is equal to how much set of natural number n because if we combine both e and o then you will get a natural number set of natural numbers okay okay so one more question is is e and o are a disjoint set disjoint means do you know disjoint there will be no common elements in e and in, in two sets a and b if there is no common elements in two sets a and b then those sets are said to be disjoint set okay so that is one type of set that i didn't tell you so here e and o are they disjoint set yes but there is no common elements here so here we can say okay later on i will tell you about this disjoint set so union understood another example let's suppose a is 1 2 3 and b is 1 2 ab so a union b will be how much a 1 2 1 2 3 a and b here a and b are not disjoint they are not disjoint because 1 and 2 are there common elements okay intersection it is represented by like this okay so intersection means the common elements that is present in both a and b so a intersection b can be written as set of all x's such that x belongs to a and x belongs to b it also can be represented as set of all x's such that x belongs to a conjunction x plus 2 b okay so if i find it out e o keta hobo e is the set of even numbers even natural numbers and o is the set of odd natural numbers then if you take the intersection what is the result 5 this one okay you may write down empty equal to 5 Okay. So now come to now we can give the definition of disjoint sets. Two sets A and B are said to be disjoint if A intersection B is equal to Okay, so we are called the disjoint set. How do you represent in diagram? In diagram, you can represent this. A is the set. Okay. Similarly, we have another set that is B. There are no common elements in A and B, so this is A and B are called as the disjoint sets. Okay, so. here uh, we have a homework give examples of four examples of disjoint set okay <clears throat> so let me take one c is the set of complex numbers c is the set of complex numbers n is the set of natural numbers are they disjoint sets c and n set of complex numbers and this is the set of natural numbers okay so this is the question i am just giving you tell me are these two sets c and n are disjoint Complex number and a plus i. Complex number. Any number that, that that can be represented a plus i b, where i square is equal to minus one. That is called as a complex number. Any number which can be represented in the form of a plus i b, where i square is equal to minus one. Okay. And a and b are the 
Yes, no, yes. Fractional vehicle. Okay, now tell me these two sets C and N are distant or not? No, because let's suppose two is a natural number, so I can I can say two belongs to N. Similarly, I can write down two plus I zero. How can I? I into zero. That is belongs to C complex number. So there are some natural number we are actually present in the complex number. So there are some common elements are there. Okay, so that is why C and N are not distant set. Hello. So how do you write it? So let me write it down here. C uh, intersection N is not equal to phi. Tanga mother common element empty no only. There are some common elements are there. So that's why C and N are not distant sets. Complement. Hmm. Complement. Okay, so I'm just showing it diagrammatically. Venn diagram. Let's suppose this is the Venn diagram, and this is the universal set U. Okay, and this is the set. A. So this one is the A complement. Hello. So this shaded region that I have done in green color. This one. So this is nothing but what? Or A C. You write it down like this. A complement. Okay. A bitter which hadi ke jaha bhi. Hello. किंतु सर यूनिवर्सल सेट रे तो मैं कंसीडर करके लिखि यूनिवर्सल सेट जहां जहां फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ लेट यू इज अ यूनिवर्सल सेट हैविंग एलिमेंट्स 1 2 3 4 8 8 9 एंड ए इज इक्वल टू 3 ab ओके देन ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट केते होबो व्हाट विल बी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट Okay, so just remove this one. Three, A, B. One, two, four, six. One, two, four, six. This is the A complement. Okay. One more thing, just remember here. I just write it down in the note. A union, A complement is for how much? Universal set. Okay. Similarly, this is not one. A intersection. A complement. How much? Common elements in A and A complement. Phi. That is empty set. That is equal to phi. Because see here, there is no common elements are there. So this is the complement. Okay. Symmetric difference. Symmetric difference is uh, actually denoted by jor get like this. This is actually notation is different from different uh, different book. So in CLU book that is you have in your library, so the notation is this jaw notation. So let me show it here using a Venn diagram. Let's suppose A is a set. This is the A, and this is B is the set. B is the set, and this is the universal set U. Then which is the symmetric difference? So this part. In yellow color, I'm drawing. This is symmetric difference. Hello. Sorry, sorry. It is not symmetric difference. Uh, yeah. Mutha, what difference? What I told you, na difference. I didn't tell you. Oh, this is the symmetric difference. Ah, no, it actually difference ta kohi nahi. So there is no. so this is a symmetric difference. This one, green color is jodao chhe. Symmetric difference. Some book ra dekhi ho, sirte lakhai tha. So it can be represented as A B. Okay. Ra lakhai to write it down in the set builder method. Kendi lakhi ho. In some book it is written as delta A delta B like this. 
हैला गोटे डेल्टा लेखा होबे गोटे एठी मु जोर गाटि यूज करछि केते लिखिबो सेट ऑफ ऑल एक्सेस सच दैट एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए देन और एक्स बिलोंग्स टू बी एंड एक्स डजर बिलोंग्स टू ए इंटरसेक्शन हैला दिस इज द एठी रहिबो नाही this part is not there their elements will not be this element will not consider in symmetric difference okay so this is the symmetric difference okay so here also mathematically if you write it down a union b hello so let me write it down uh, give me another example that is called difference difference is it is denoted by a like this हैला और इन सम बुक ए माइनस बी भी लिखा हुआ है इट इज स्लाइटली बैक स्लैश दे दैट इज कॉल्ड डिफरेंस सो इफ यू राइट इट डाउन द वेन डायग्राम शो इट इन वेन डायग्राम लेट्स सपोज दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज बी हैला ए डिफरेंस भी कोटा हो पाएगा सो दिस इज दिस इज द दिस इज द सिमेट्रिक सॉरी ए माइनस बी ओके सो दिस इज द ए माइनस that's called a difference okay so here i can write it down can you carry go a union b difference a intersection b that is the symmetric difference mu ta ko set a kar like i have just written down in the set form so take the union of a and b and find the difference between a union b and a intersection okay so here just write it down here a symmetric difference b this yellow color sorry this green color any doubt next one is one to one correspondence between two sets one to one correspondence okay so let us let us uh, have, uh, let us uh, understand the theory then i will tell you why it is required why this one to one correspondence between two uh, between elements of two sets is required so just try to understand here given two sets p and q okay so no no need to worry about no likely bhi chodi ba i will just send it here hello just try to understand give two sets p and q two sets are given whose name is p and q we say that there is a one to one correspondence between the elements in p and the elements in q if it is possible to pair off the elements in p and q such that every element in p is paired off with a distinct element in q simple language there are some elements are there in p and some elements are there in q our job is to make a pair take one element from here distinct element make a pair with the distinct element of other set if you can do the pairing then that is called as the one to one correspondence between elements of two sets okay so very clear that the 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 cardinality of p must be equal to the cardinality of q then only then only we can define the one to one correspondence between elements of two sets for example let's suppose uh, here we have s is the set of students hello of your class f set of fingerprints of your class so is there a one to one correspondence between elements of sets s and f is there what is s yes? set of students of your class yeah there is a corresponding one to one so what are f f is a set of fingerprints of your class so as i told you of your class means both the both the cardinality of s and f are same same number of fingerprints are there same number of students are there for one student you can pair the corresponding fingerprints in another example another example i can say uh, let's suppose a is the set i am writing down in tabular method a b c b is the set 2 4 7 so now tell me is there one to one correspondence between elements of two sets a and b 
okay doesn't care doesn't worry about the relationship tanko betre ko relationship doesn't matter just take one element from here a make a pair with any other, any distinct element okay so i can pair a with 4 then b with 2 then i can have c with 7 so there is a one to one correspondence between these two elements between these two sets a and b okay so here uh, we can say that uh, the cardinality of a is equal to cardinality of b hello so why actually one to one correspondence is required because sometimes some sets are it is very difficult to write it down in tabular like a set of natural numbers can you tell me the cardinality of natural numbers set of natural numbers can you tell me no so for that we require one to one correspondence between elements of two sets so that is another one is the finite set okay so there are two kind of sets one is called as the finite set another one is the infinite set okay the first one a set is said to be finite if there is a one to one correspondence between the elements in the set and the elements in some set n where n belongs to capital n hello so what the meaning of this finite set ka hum ko hit let's suppose i take an example a tabular method I have given v capital v set of vowels a e i o u okay so is this a finite set yes why because i have taken a set of natural number any set okay so let's suppose you write like this n plus this set of natural number i am taking some part of natural number so i am taking 1 2 3 4 5 So n plus like that element is there. Five elements are there. Now we can have one pi. This is two pi. This one. So there is a one to one correspondence. So that is that is called as a finite set. If there is a one to one correspondence between this set and we will take a part of set of uh, natural number. Hello, natural number or subordinate number? Don't care. It is n like this. Hello, n means what? That is the cardinality of the set. You know, like some part of the natural number. so that is that is called the finite set hello okay uh, sorry here uh, it, what is it written here n is said to be the cardinality of the set what is n n is said the cardinality of the set now come to infinite set a set is infinite set if it is not finite this is the simple definition if the set is not finite then that's called the infinite set Yeah. Okay. So there are certain uh, two types of uh, infinite sets are there. One is called as countably infinite set, and there another one is uncountably infinite set. So these these are the very fundamental things because this kind of questions come in gate and net. This kind of questions. Countably infinite set. Okay. So let us understand this one first. Yeah. Okay. First of all, we cannot count an infinite set. फाइनाइट सेट को हमें काउंट कर करबो नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बट इन फाइनाइट सेट कितना एलिमेंट है यू कैन नॉट काउंट इट सो देयर इज अनदर वर्ड दैट इज रिटन काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट सो व्हाट इज रिटन हियर अ सेट इज सेड टू बी काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट इफ देयर इज वन टू वन करेस्पोंडेंस बिटवीन द एलिमेंट्स इन द सेट एंड द एलिमेंट्स इन व्हाट इज व्हाट इज दिस एन सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर हैला इट एन टा सम पार्ट ऑफ नो है पूरा पूरा नेचुरल नंबर है ओके सो अ सेट इज सेड टू बी काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट If there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements in the set and the elements in N, example, the form. The first example, A is equal to what is written? Zero, two, four, six. This is the countably infinite set. Hello, why? Because the form. I, I want to make a one-to-one -one correspondence. Can you do it? Yes. How to do this one? Hmm. So this A elements of A can be written as. 2 of 2 into i. This is the this is the even numbers, na? Right? Come on, come on. And what is i? I belongs to set of natural number. Hello, it is i re set of natural number is zero be at one. Hello, if there is zero, then we i re value. Hello, what is that? Two into zero, what is that? Zero. Hello, then if there is i re value one, then we. Hello, what is that? Two into i. Two is that? Hello, so there is a one to one correspondence. Dekho. There is a one to one correspondence. Gote, if you take a natural number zero, then there is a, a, a corresponding in a, a number in A that is zero. This one. If you take one natural number, then there is another corresponding element that is two. Okay, so there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of A and set of uh, set of natural number n. So that is why A is called as the countably infinite set. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज बी ओके सो एटा के लिखा है बी रे सेट ऑफ ऑल ऑल नंबर्स सो 2y 1 है ना और n इज इक्वल हाउ मच 0 1 2 इन दी कोरी कोरी की ओके सो इट्स 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 रॉन्ग हियर एट आसी बोल इज नॉट 1 टू स्टार्ट बिकॉज़ 0 इज अ इवन नंबर है ना सो 1 टू 3 कोरी है ना सो हियर n रे कोन कोन हबो जीरो रु स्टार्ट को जीरो वन टू इन दी कोरी 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 पुट इट हियर जीरो आई इज इक्वल जीरो इधर पुट करबो व्हाट विल गेट वन हैला सिमिलरली एठी भी लिख दियो हियर आल्सो एन विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हाउ मच जीरो वन टू एन सो ओके नाउ अनदर एग्जांपल सी इज दिस द काउंटेबल इनफिनिट सेट और एक नहीं है, यस, है ना? माइनस वन को तो मैं कैंडी कोरी पारी हो, माइनस आई लाकर लिखी पारी हो, माइनस आई, वेर एन इस वन रू स्टार्ट हल्ला मन को, वन टू थ्री कोरी कैंडी होगा, है ना? ये टू वन ने बोले ये टू माइनस वन ही जो, ये टू ने ले माइनस टू ही जो, एंड सो, तो दिस इस वन एग्जांपल ऑफ � both positive and negative are there set of integers including zero hala so can you can you say this is a countably infinite set okay so this d can be arranged like this zero then zero one minus one two minus two three minus three and so hala so easily you can have a जो तो पाकर फार्मूला नहीं इफ डोंट हैव अ फार्मूला इट्स ओके बट यू स्टिल यू कैन हैव अ वन टू वन करेस्पोंडेंस बिटवीन दिस सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर लाइक दिस ये इज करेस्पोंडिंग टू दिस जस्ट यू हैव टू मेक अ पेयर हाउ वर रिपेयरिंग को ले सो दिस इज आल्सो ए डी इज आल्सो ए काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट है ना ओके नाउ योर होमवर्क इज होमवर्क इज स्टडी अबाउट अनकाउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट अनकाउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट सो यू टू यू स्टडी बाय योरसेल्फ व्हाट इज अ अनकाउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग वन आईडिया अबाउट दिस लेट्स सपोज दिस द This is the line of a our. Uh, let's say there is zero here, one, two, three. The left hand side minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. Okay. Now let's suppose I want to take a set of real numbers that is present here between zero and one. Okay. How many real numbers are there between zero and one? How many? Let's suppose if I write zero point one two. This is one real number. Similarly, I can say 0.123 is a real number. 0.12341. Okay. So you cannot have a one-to-one -one correspondence between these elements and the elements of natural number. 0.1 cannot because there is an infinite number of numbers are there here between 0 and 1. Which number? Real numbers. I am saying real numbers. Okay. So that is why this. Uh, This is actually this set of real numbers between zero and one is uncountably infinite set because there is no one-to-one -one correspondence between the uh, the elements of natural number n and the elements of let's suppose this uh, uh, let's suppose this, uh, represent this one as b this set that's why it's a uncountably infinite set. Okay, so this much for today.